Hello everyone, my name is Lee, and today I'm here to describe and to rate the Rebel Solar Generator by Cutting Edge. Okay, this is a generator that runs off of solar panels. I have it hooked up to 1200 watts. I have two channels. Inside, you'll see dual MPPT charge controllers that work independently of each other. If you look down, there are my batteries. I have six lithium ion batteries, each one putting out 1200 watts. That totals 7,200. If you look down, you'll see the inverter. And this inverter is very special. Um, it is a Sun Gold, I believe that the name is, and it is a 110 slash 220 volt inverter. This is hooked up to my sub panel, which runs my well. It runs my furnace and a bunch of outlets and other things. So if you look, I'll turn it on and you can get to see the menu come on. I had it on, I just want you to see it run through. That abnormal voltages, I just don't have shore power connected to it. And it's putting out 244 volts, I believe it, what it says. Um, I don't know if you know about a low frequency inverter. Um, they're very good in harsh elements and they're also very durable. These things are very heavy. Um, so let's go around the side. I'm gonna show you the MPPT connectors or the MC4 connectors right there. I have two sets going in. I have 10 gauge wiring. Check out the wiring here. Look how beefy that is. They've got Anderson connectors that hook the batteries up to the bus and then they hook up to the inverter. If we go around the side here, let's take a look. There's your shore power connection and right next to it is what I have hooked up. It's a 30 amp outlet for 220. It goes right into my sub panel and to the breaker box. Um, I've got three 110 receptacles there. And I believe they're 30 watt as well. In the front, I've got a 30 amp. Yeah, that's right, a 30 amp cigarette lighter attachment. This is what I would say is the best option for a solar home generator that utilizes 220 volts, and I'll explain why. If you get the Blue Eddy, and I have Blue Eddy products, um, you need to put two of them together. They're modular, um, and in this case, um, this is one unit with an inverter that will give you both 220, and it will give you 110. Another thing is, if something goes wrong with their unit, um, it's sealed. Um, you got ABS, excuse that, uh, plastic so there's really no way to get in there and, and make those changes here if you look everything is modular from the standpoint of if that battery goes you know which is backed up by the company you unscrew those wing nuts you can take that out if you notice they're only screwed in two places one here is the negative and the positive also the inverter you'd have to take the batteries out but you could also replace that as far as the MPPT charge controllers, um, right now um, um, they're making a new one, but this is also modular. You can take these out and replace them. So I told you about the things that I really like about this. Let me critique on the things that I wasn't so groovy about when I first got it. Okay, number one, a lot of the connections were loose, including if you look down, the connections to the inverters, um, they were hand loose and they were rattling. So I had to connect that. The second thing that I didn't like is that cigarette lighter um, just pushed right through. I uh, ended up using some crazy glue and some electrical tape and it's perfect. Um, the third thing I wasn't too crazy about is there's an app for the uh, MPPT charge controllers. The app is, in my opinion, horrible. Um, you have to be right next to the unit. Um, if you have more than one MPPT charge controller, you can't differentiate between the two. So a lot of times you have to log on and log 
log off and back on to um, be able to get the other one to to kind of get a status. But um, with that said, they, they work really well. Here, let's toggle through this. That's showing the available voltage from the batteries. 98% full, um, 3.7 amps. And that's coming from the solar, um, the battery temp, not the battery temp, but that's the, the charge controller temp. There's no codes, uh, so that's good. And 17 is how I have the um, solar coming on and how it gives power to the batteries. Um, the other thing that I would like to see different uh, with this unit is the batteries. These batteries are only 500 um, cycles. They're automotive batteries. They're the same batteries that uh, Tesla uses. Uh, they come from Japan. They're excellent. However, I just ordered another one of these units and the batteries that they're going to use will be good for 4,000 cycles, full cycles that is, from, from full to empty and back. Um, and that is um, gonna be my next purchase. They've upgraded these batteries automatically. Uh, I think that's important because we're gonna be using these things more frequently with energy bills going up and blackouts or who, who knows what, right? Um, I feel right now because of its modular setup and the types of materials that they're using to put these together, that this is truly your best option for a home solar generator. Um, look forward to your comments, concerns. If you need more information on this, please let me know. Take care, guys.